I shazammed the sound of myself crying the other day. <laughs> All my phone said was, you deserve this. <laughs> Welcome to Sandy Sundance Stand Up, everybody! Thank you so much. Um, it seems like a my attire has become a very common theme of what I talk about. Uh, in these shows. The first show was a Sandy Sundance Stand Up t-shirt, the second show was a Comedy Society jumper, and now I've had a mental fucking breakdown and I'm wearing a Fries Before Guys jumper. <laughs> uh, but I will explain it. Um, I saw this jumper online and I thought it perfectly explained my mantra on life. But I needed to find the equivalent for, for women. And I searched and I searched and I searched and I couldn't find anything. And I thought, what? a sexist comment on society. Why is it only women who can prefer food over love? Why can't I prefer food over love as well? Then I realised that was bollocks. And the actual reason that there was no equivalent is fries before guys is just perfect. Fries is the most indulgent food. It rhymes with guys so well. And there is nothing like that for women. And I've tried. I saw a gap in the market. I thought I could take advantage. But there's just... I thought breadsticks before chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Kale before female. <laughs> clam before her clam. None of these <laughs> work, Sandys! <sighs> so I had to go with the fries before guys jumper, but I feel like it. I, I work it. I feel like I'm rocking it. Um, I won't talk about my jumper. Oh, thank you. That's a lie. Um, I won't talk about my jumper the entire evening, I promise. Even if I want to. Oh. Oh. Are we? Okay. You're working again. <laughs> Um, I won't talk about my jump the entire evening, but I do have one thing I would like to talk to you about this evening, uh, and it's something I have come to realise recently, and it's something you all need to realise too. Human beings are terrible. They just are, and I'm going to explain to you why, and you need to understand. I have lots of examples. Um, the first example is actually what got me thinking about this. A friend of mine recently, he was reading an article online, uh, and he told me that uh, tuna are actually um, almost going extinct because of overfishing, they might not be around for much longer. And he said a phrase to me that really stuck out in my mind. He said, Oh, mate, could you imagine a world without tuna? <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, yes, yes, I could, like quite easily. But secondly, what stuck about me with that phrase is I realised he definitely wasn't talking about tuna, the animal like the fish that swims in the sea. He was talking about tuna, the food that like comes in cans. And that's pretty fucked up. What he wasn't saying was, oh mate, could you imagine if as a human race, we were so decadent and greedy that we wiped an entire other species off the earth. No, he wasn't thinking that. What he was thinking was, oh mate, what if there are no, no more tuna sweet corn sandwiches in Tesco? Yeah. Which is fucking disgusting. That is absolutely abhorrent. Who the fuck eats a tuna sweet corn sandwich? Yeah. That is one of the worst decisions you can make. In fact, don't even go to Tesco's for their meal deals. Go down to St. Please, they have tasted different sandwiches for their meal deals. Anyone who goes to Tesco for their meal deals is a fucking pleb, in my opinion. <laughs> so, yeah, human beings are terrible. Uh, tuna and, and meal deals or something. Uh, but if that didn't convince you, uh, I have a few other examples. Um, here's one. Uh, as a human race, we have allowed not one, not two, but three Sharknado films to be made. <laughs> Human beings are terrible. If that didn't convince you, I have another story. It's, it's a personal story from my life. It happened when I was about uh, 11 years old. Uh, and we were in biology class and we were learning about mold. Uh, and so we did an experiment where you le left bread in a Ziploc bag over the weekend then you come back on Monday and see how much mold had grown. Now this isn't a story about how my parents wasted a fuckload of money on my education, although that is also true. What this is a story about is how we came back on Monday and... I don't want to brag, guys, but my bread was moldy as shit. Like, holy fuck, there was so much mold on this bread. So I was pretty happy about that, so I wanted to show it to my mate. So much like a cat presenting a dead pigeon to its owners, I took it to my mates and was like, oh guys, check out how much fucking mold. I don't know why the impression of me when I was 11 is cockney, but yeah. just go. Um, oh guys, check out how much fucking mold is on my bread. And <laughs> I grew up cockney, okay? Just go with it. Um, 
And the consequence of that was that I got the nickname Moldy for five fucking years! I was 16 years old, I could drive a car, and I was amicably referred to as a culture of bacteria that grows on bread. That is fucked up. The fucking teachers got involved. I was sitting in biology class at 16 years old, learning about fucking mitochondria or something. I don't know. My parents wasted my money on education. We've been over it. Um, We'd be sitting in class and we'd be going, oh, Dave, here, Stephen, here, Moldy. Yeah, fucking Moldy's still here, you twat! I haven't pissed off yet. Don't you know anything about Moldy? It stays around for a fucking long time. <laughs> Human beings are terrible. Um, it's fine, I've, I've got over it. Um, I've got one final example for you about why uh, human beings are terrible, and it's actually a St Andrews based example. Hey, case you're into the audience, Jamie, comedy. <laughs> um, so, uh, another reason why human beings are terrible is until about three months ago, the only club in St Andrews was the Lizard, and we were totally okay with that. <laughs> Not just okay. Some people liked the lizard. That's some fucking Stockholm Syndrome shit right there. That is not okay. Because the lizard is quite frankly one of the fucking worst places on earth. The, go, going to the lizard is a lot like losing your virginity. And before anyone says it, not because I've not experienced either. <laughs> the actual reason, and, and stick with me here, going to the lizard is a lot like losing your virginity. You most likely do it while drunk. There's not going to be a lot of space, so you're really going to have to squeeze yourself in there. Oh. And you're probably going to cry afterwards. <laughs> you that last one? Okay, right. Uh, so yeah, uh, human beings are terrible. Um, a little addendum to that last joke. Um, I've been planning on taking that joke for a while on stage, um, because I'm an organised comedian and all that. But um, by coincidence, I checked Time Hop today, and that was a joke that I actually wrote as a Facebook status four years ago today. So that joke is celebrating its birthday, which is quite cool. But also, that means that joke was written by 18-year-old Jamie. Now, none of you knew 18-year-old Jamie, but he was a prick. <laughs> so you should feel really bad about laughing at that joke, to be honest. No one laughed at 18-year-old Jamie's jokes. And only a few people laugh at 22-year-old Jamie's jokes. <laughs> right, uh, that is about enough of uh, both 18 and 22-year-old Jamie's jokes, because it's about time that I say, would you like to meet your first comedian? <laughs> Come on, Andrews, I know it's week 11, but you can do better than that. Do you want to meet